G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Mr GT, welcome to the channel. Today you join me at George's Prestige Detailing. And we've got an immaculate um, tribute XYGT, which we're going to have a very close look at. So, grab those cold beers, because it's getting warm again. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. <laughs> So oh, ladies and gentlemen, check out this immaculate mint condition XYGT tribute in a beautiful colour, rare colour, you won't see this very often, but look at the shine on that, fantastic, and it is getting the treatment here at George's Prestige Detail by the man himself, George, over there, so anybody that wants their car detailed, I'll have the links in the description box on the bottom with all his details, and you can get in contact with him and book in your cars but in the meantime we'll go around and have a look at this immaculate beast fantastic and wind back sunroof glorious white interior which we'll get a closer look at later and we will be speaking to the owner so we can go through the specs Getting ready to do some of the magic. Look at the rear. And we've got the rear. I love the way Ford have nailed it with this XYs. The XY GTs actually. The way they've got this BD painted in black, and then the way the Falcon GT is written, it just really tops the look of these cars. They really look fantastic. I really nailed that and those chunky fuel caps look very very neat and beefy original aerial perfect alright chaps I've got the owner here Dibbo there you go buddy how are you? Will thanks oh, good. thanks for um, sharing your car with us on the um, oh, channel good. today. So it's a wonderful car, it's been around for a long time. Um, it's pretty much grown up with me. Yep. Um, about since I was 15 years old. Since 15 years since old? 15 years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm 33 so, years old now. So you're 33, yep. So you've had a what? Um, about pretty 17. Dad pretty much built the car. Um, yeah, pretty much rebuilt the whole car. Uh, Bodywork, interior, engine wise. It's had about two engines in it. This is the second engine. Um, the first engine was a 2V351 built by Hercules, solo, solo Hercules in there to see. Yep, he's one of the best one engine the best builders going around, around. Um, very long time. And um, yeah, we just, that might have lasted about 15 years and um, just, gave, just gave way at some time and we ended up going big, man. I ended up putting an arrow block on when it's all net again. Yep. And, um, and this is the current engine we're talking about now? New motor now. Uh, you want to pop the bonnet for us? Is yeah, it possible so we can have a look while you're telling us? So for all the youngsters that don't know, this is how you pop a bonnet of an XY. Got those clips that you have to turn first. And that's for safety. Big speeds that these cars do. If you've had a look at one of the photos, over 120 miles an hour down the Hume from one of the media Specialists back in the day. All right, so here's the engine I want to saw Ned that saw. we're talking about now. We want to saw Ned, and um, we decided to go arrow block. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it, um, made with a low manifold, made 680 horse, trick flow heads, 610 foot pound torque. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild to be honest. Every gear just bakes them, so. Um, yeah, it's got so, too much power for the street. Yeah, it would feel like it's on ice all the time, eh? Yeah, it's out of control, to be honest. Um, yeah, so the motor's about five years old now. Yeah, mate, that's good. Like so she's been, going, she's been going for a while, eh? Yeah, been going for a while, still going, that's still strong. As a, as a Mr. B. So, um, yeah, it's got the original engine bay colour on it. I sort of left it as a, on my panel, but I tried. I was going to pull the engine out and paint it, but I left it, you know, decided to leave something original in the car. Maybe one day down the track I'll paint, I might more paint the car again yeah. down the track, but but, it, but you're right. At it does the moment, give, it's pretty good, you know. It does give it the character. It does. When you leave it 
original like this, you know, like you know that this is how it's been ever since it came out from the factory. That's right. I pretty much done it all under the bottle with the shaker and the bowl. So we done like this and made that sort of power with that with that manifold, the low manifold and the shaker. With the fruit, fruit the shaker, so kept it like that and um, it's the best fit to be honest. So you've got the extractors there as well, yeah. you can see. Best mufflers done the exhaust system on it. And um Ned done the engine and yeah and, um, How much power has it got? 680 horse or 610 foot power tall. It well, lets you know, man, it lets you know that it's gone. <laughs> have you had a run down the corner? Look, I haven't really raced the prop, you know. Um, I warn you one day, but what well, I do, I do. So plans in the future? Um, look, for, for, plans for, at the for, moment. Plans I'll, to run it down the corner? Oh, look, I'll, I'll order more, put a tire on it and see how it goes, you know, but I'll be honest, I'll, I'll have my fun on the street, a bit wild on the street. I shouldn't, but I'll have my fun on the street, rest a lot of cars on the street, and uh, it goes pretty good on the street, so. I don't know if we spoke about it before, but um, is there a top loader in it or is it auto? It's a top loader. Top loader. Yeah. Um, yeah. So far, the PL's handling the top loader. Well, I have got out of the top loader before, I've smashed one in pieces, but I'm a bit hard on the car. But yeah, no, top, so far, top loader's handling at the moment, so yeah, yeah I kept yeah, it all factory style, you know, top yeah. loader, big engine, you know. I love that. I can't, I couldn't, I didn't want to go Tremic or auto. Yeah. I'm a stick, I love stick, yep. you know. Yep. Love manual, so. Yeah, have a bit of fun. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm a bit wild on the street, but that's a bit it, to be honest. And uh, obviously it's got a 9-inch diff. Yeah, it's got 9-inch 31 spawn, true track. Um, Ratios? 3-8-9. 3 8 9 3 8 9 okay. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, that, that's pretty good because... That's not bad on the highway. You've still got not too bad on the, on the highway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's actually responsive, so it's good. It's responsive with the engine. But, uh, no, oh, yeah, it would be. does the job. So work. yeah, I haven't really looked at these um, very close up the arrow blocks like compared to the Cleveland. Yeah, it's pretty so much th th much this bit here looks pretty yeah, pretty yeah. similar, but I suppose the interior. D on it too, well, but 10D, you know, <laughs> it's a T <deep> block. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and the head's obviously different, like the yeah, alloy. Fruit flies, aluminium. not a 2V. Mm. Not a 2V head, yeah, fruit flies. They fly, man, they go good. Does a drop with a combo. Solid roller care. Oh, roller. Yeah, a roller. I was going to ask you if we, if you were in a solid cam or roller. Solid roller cam, yeah. Does yeah, I had a roller in my one, but this is a lot bigger, obviously. Yeah. And I'll drive it everywhere, man. I'll, I'll drive it everywhere. I'll give it a hard time. And so do you find with the roller cam, like your power band, it's a wider oh, range, isn't it? Yeah. Like from 2,000 revs, it you, you've, it's yeah, it's, it's got... It's all like solid, yeah. Yeah, that is the advantage of the roller cams. Um, how about, like, with your springs, they're... They get adjusted. They get adjusted. They get adjusted every so often. You've got to go down with of the course. feeler gauges yeah, and have a look net, at the roller rockers and make sure there's not a gap. Yeah, Ned's the same does with that for me, yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit of my trade. Have you had to change any of the lifters? Like, uh, no, no. No, so far, mate, it's been good. Well, it looks like they've come a long way because yeah. with me, what used to happen was we couldn't find springs yeah. that had enough pressure yeah. to keep my um, lifters from bouncing. Yeah. So then when they'd bounce a little bit after the springs would lose their pressure, yeah. the um, springs would bounce. And then what would happen is a little wheel mm. would eventually break off and then if that goes through the whole motor, yeah, you you're gone. So it's stuffed up, yeah. Jim from Croydon, Autosports had built my engine and he trained me like how to check yeah, yeah, if there's a problem. I used to pull the rocket covers off and um, I used to check the clearances and if yeah. if the clearance was a fair bit, yeah. straight away manifold off and then I'd yeah. take that lifter out, put another one in. Metal shaker and bolt. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's what I like about it, you know. It's got big power for a shaker, you know. It's the best part of it. Yeah. I wish right they would have continued that forward with the V8s, like having the shakers, you know, with yeah. the other uh, models. So, fantastic. All right, so let's have a look at the interior and tell yeah, us how it was and what you've done. I had trim in it before. Um, I would have saw Steve from Cool Trim, Steve V. Mm -hmm. He done a cracker job on the interior, done a full rest on the interior. He done a white trim. I a white trim from Young Boy, and uh, when we decided to go white trim, you know, so. Um, That's beautiful. Yeah, and Steve done a cracker job on it. Yeah, done redone all the seats and look at that. Redone the carpet, dash, crash bed, 
Look at that. Those specs are full factory. You can't beat cool stream, man. Cool streams on the money, man. Cool streams, huh? Cool streams, bro. Steve V. Cracker. Done a cracker job. Look at that. New carpets. Steering wheel. Yeah, that's a genuine steering wheel. Genuine. Fantastic. Ash to the fridge. There's a top loader with a shifter. All good, nothing's missing from there. Even the screws are in place beautifully. Seat belts. Immaculate, look at that. Fantastic, the car's like brand new. It's just like it's come out from the factory. Yeah, he has. I'm impressed. Yeah. The nice thump that these doors make when you close them. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> nice speakers on the back too. What have we got here? So you'll... Obviously, you have another deck going on. I'm going to put one in, man. I used to have a deck in the car, but I put that in the factory super fridge in it. Yep. And, um, Give I'm, it the original look. Yeah, kept it all the original. I'm going to do um, I'm going to put a deck in there eventually. Uh, that's it, man. Eventually, I'm going to see Ronnie Hanna and uh, put a deck in there, man. Get it going. Yeah, so, um, Beautiful rev counter. Sport pump. That's the a a axle, isn't it? AWC EEL. Yeah, I love those. They've really made them look very, very nice. Great position with the shift light there on the left of it that I'm zooming into now. That usually blinds you, mate, when you're driving and it's facing you. Yeah. Fantastic. This car's immaculate. Very, very yeah. impressive. Yeah. And is it going in any car shows? Look, we've got all four days on Sunday. George Detailer is going to get ready for me for a four day. It's an old resto, but um, it's it's got its age. It's um, like yeah, it's, but you know, it's fantastic it's since plain for an old resto. since it's been restored. It's a bit more trained, you know, keep, keep, keep it, it in, maintained it, you know. Yep. I've maintained the car, so yeah, that's nah, been good, man. And it's going to be better by, by, by the end of it, you know. Yeah, it doesn't need another resto, that's for sure. Right? Yeah. I think it's going to need one, mate. If you keep looking after it the way you're yeah, looking I'll, after it, it should it. just keep going forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the beauty is, you've got a rare colour. Yeah, it's called Wall on the They make three GTs in this colour. Only three? They make three GTs in this colour. I think there's two, two around. And uh, the other one's more missing, I think. But um, it's a rare colour, rare combo. As a young boy, when I first bought the car, I was going to go Wall of Water Watch room, but that's my favourite colour, Wall of Water Watch. Yeah, it is a fantastic colour, well, but there's a few of them around. I was going to do that, then I, you know what? The colour grew on me. Yeah. And I studied it, made sure it was a GT colour, I left it, man. I love it, I'll never change it. It's yeah. rare, you know. Everyone knows it from this car and the car. Yep. The so, more you look at it, the more it grows on you. The yeah, it's got that, yeah. Like that. All right, lads, so we're, we're gonna get a bit of a listen to this. Wait till you hear this sound. That brings back memories. That sounds insane. Love it. You don't even need to rev these things when they've got a nice cam like that, eh? You just, you're just idling. They just sound fantastic. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, peeps. I'd, um, we've come to the end of the video. Just like to give Dibba a big thanks for Thank talking you, to us and letting us film his car. No worries, man. Whoever wants yeah, to see this car on Sunday, 
All four day. Yeah. All four day. Yes, this car will be there, and it may even get an award, especially if George has done it. George has had quite a few cars that get awards. So anybody wants to see this car, plus there'll be other cars, mate. Come down to Eastern Creek. Well, actually, it's at Sydney Dragway, isn't it? Yeah. At Sydney Dragway this Sunday, and you can get a close look at the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Pound that subscribe button. Punch that notification bill. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.